Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now, each week I upload a new video like this, so if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So, we we'll start with the Dixie as usual. Sorry for my voice, guys. I had the flu and still not totally recovered. <laughs> so, that's why. Uh, the Dixie weekly time frame. So, as I said last week, um, it was time for a little bit of a correction. Most of the time, that what will happen when you get such a huge movement, you end up go uh, having a slower week the week after or a couple of weeks after. So, we've got a little bit of a correction, in my opinion, that is uh, not enough yet. I think um, the 38.2 is still the level that we might be looking at for potential continuation to the upside. I do like this area here, especially if we look left here, been tested both uh, support and resistance, and we have the 38.2 Fib retracement. So um, I'm still eye uh, eyeing this area for a little bit of um, a retest right now. Uh, the, the last week's move at the end of the week was a consolidation sideways, not much happening, but it would be good to have <clears throat> that dip down here toward uh, 9140, 9130 area before a uh, continuation. So this here is where we had 38.2 Fib retracement at this level. So um, I will keep an eye at that level as first. And of course, if this area fails, the next area gonna be the 618 Fib. Um, also a good level looking left it been an area that got broken this was where the everything started here to the upside so that is also another good level but since we have a strong momentum i'm thinking we may not get a deeper correction and we start getting the move already from this area so that's why 38.2 is the level i'm watching as first on the dollar uh, gold also, um, not much happened last week. Checking the weekly time frame here, you see a, a tiny uh, body here uh, after uh, that huge move on the weekly um, uh, candle. So we uh, we the the expected did happen. And uh, keep in mind, we are about to enter summer trading. Uh, things might start going slow. So even here, I was expecting a little bit of a slowdown, a little bit of a correction. We still did not have any huge. Uh, Huge correction uh, things went sideways for the whole week on gold and um, yeah I'm still thinking that um, the move to the upside um, could be uh, something to watch before the next leg lower this area here uh, 1850 is a good very good level to watch for a correction but the big question is are we getting such a correction or not my uh, gut feeling is saying that we might get a dip down here toward uh, the 1755 area to then start seeing the correction before the next leg lower. This is what I'm uh, thinking right now. Again, if we go do back to the daily, you see this is not much of a correction. And uh, most of the time you have at least two legs correction before the next uh, move to the downside. So we'll, this is will be watch and see. It is of course sell rallies, but uh, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to know how big of a correction we are getting. Oil following the plan nicely. I'm still saying buy the dips until uh, 75, 75, 50 area because that is a key structure here. So uh, if the market would reach this area, if we look left here uh, on the weekly, you see that all the way back here, um, 2011, this level held nicely we had a little bit of issues here we had these here and uh, that is in my opinion the the bulls um, objective to reach that area so there is still a little bit of room to that uh, push to the upside um, oil uh, is still by rallies now we've got another break to the upside we had the break retest another retest that failed to break lower a higher low and there was an attempt to 
push once again so uh, for oil next week keep an eye on this level or down here at around the 70 those are the two levels to watch if you want to play a uh, bullish run here on oil first hit this level second level is down here at around the 70 to then target the 75 area this is the market objective in my opinion usd also a slow week not much happened here uh, a little bit of a bounce we do have a major lower high now keep that in mind we had the <clears throat> this rotation on the upside the the big momentum week followed by a, a slower week is a very normal thing to see and even here i think at least a correction back toward this area what we should be watching here so keep an eye on this level for a potential um, selling pressure at around 1.20 to then look for further downside that would be my first level to watch for those uh, sell orders it could also uh, give us a higher correction maybe all the way toward these areas as well because there is a void here in price when the price moves so fast to the downside there is a void here that might get filled so if that would be the case if we measure the whole move to the downside we see that the 618 is perfectly at this area that i mentioned and uh, that in uh, moving all the way toward that 618 will fill this whole uh, void here in the price and uh, that things might start getting very very interesting if we see that correction all the way to uh, 618. Uh, sterling um, already on the way down already gave us a another lower high on the daily if you look like um, what happened here and uh, checking the weekly you see that we had almost uh, more than 50 percent correction of the weekly candle uh, that we had here so sterling already done the retest of this uh, level of interest here as you see and then got rejected and start moving lower and what's more important is we have a confirmed lower high on the daily which means that sterling seems to be ready for more downside now of course we're gonna keep an eye on this level as a potential market uh, objective to reach and take some profit at this area if you are already short from the 1.40 area then you should uh, take some profit here and then see if it's gonna break lower if it break below we look for another retest and then further downside all in all next week if the market would open and start correcting higher instead of moving lower again 1.40 is the level of interest here for another potential move to the downside usd jappy also looking uh, looking good uh, still uh, attempting to break above this previous high this gonna be a key area here the 1.11 and next target gonna be one uh, one uh, 112 sorry so um <clears throat> again guys uh, the market is still uh, making a bullish uh, channel here no break below the channel still making higher lows and having issues to break here as soon as they break above that one uh, 111 area then we target 112 uh, <coughs> right away and there is also a potential move like this that you might start getting a little bit of a consolidation between 109.70 and the uh, 111 area this is also a possible scenario but all in all if we get a break above this level look for a retest and then further upside on uh, usd jappy usd chief also um slow week not much happened a little bit of a um, correction and i'm expecting uh, more corrections here um a little bit further down like 50 percent of this candle would be lovely to see and keep in mind you have a major higher low on the weekly we have a higher high so we see potential start of a trend to the upside it is still not there yet but uh, this could be the next uh, move to the upside this leg here might happen soon so um if we go down to the daily we see that um this huge move here uh, did have just did it, this shallow correction in my opinion that is not really enough i would love to see a 50 percent or something like that 
a 618 would be even better actually because that would be the neckline that got broken yeah so down here a correction all the way to 618 would be lovely i don't like 38.2 this time because there is nothing here 50 same not much on the way the 618 that would fill the whole vo uh, the void in price here this uh, move to the upside that would get filled and then we start looking for further upside something like this would be lovely if we see that correction happening soon next week or the week after usd cad same scenario here slow correction but it is a bigger correction actually than uh, what we saw on usd chief for example we have a nice rounded bottom as I said last week, the structure is still intact, it's still a bearish structure, no break above previous highs, which means the trend is still bearish. But since we had such a nice rounded bottom and a, such a nice momentum candle, we did not have a huge bullish candle uh, since uh, these back here. Okay, so this is um, a sign of showing that the bulls are maybe back uh, on track here, we will see. It did a, a better correction uh, than USD Chief, as I said. Uh, if we measure uh, this correction so far, we see that we've got a 50% uh, retracement. That's not bad at all. Uh, we do have a little bit of a structure looking left back here and uh, back here. So this 50% area is um, a nice level to watch. Uh, I will keep an eye on that level actually for next week to see if uh, it will hold that would be the level to watch for um, uh, next week so again if they hold this here without a break lower we might see further upside from this area otherwise if they break back down it is time to start look uh, back at the old range here that could uh, be the level of interest for the bulls once again so if this got broken we watch down here for that bounce to the upside. So keep an eye on the 50% area first as your level of interest, uh, <clears throat> in my opinion. Aussie USD uh, also making a correction. Here, I would like to see this market correcting all the way to this or to the old range. That would be a, a much better area to play. Now, keep in mind where the market did test already is also another level of interest. We have some structure here looking left. So it could be the first level of interest here and we might start seeing a little bit of a uh, slowdown. We will uh, see if uh, we get some kind of a trend line going on here or something like that to work with so it would be lovely to have something like this another move another bounce and then maybe a break below to then follow this move to the downside but again if the correction keep going i am very very interested to see what will happen at the old range here this is a pretty interesting level to watch to see if we're gonna get the uh, down move from that area that would be a nice correction and again even here if we uh, measure this uh, correction uh, on the last leg only we do not need to uh, measure all the way from up here if we measure this leg i am measuring uh, uh, this here as one leg and then 618 area again another level of interest to then look for further downside that's my plan on this one new zealand usd um, almost same scenario as uh, aussie usd and uh, even here this area here is where i'm very very interested to see um, a correction toward this area would be lovely to see and uh, to try to play a short position from that level so that would be the 50 percent area everything uh, 50 between the 50 and 618 here in this zone gonna be um, a level of interest for me so um, it's all about watching to see what will happen at that area if um, the uh, the bears will show up at that area and um, checking the four hour time frame you see that we are making higher highs higher lows that does not mean we changed everything it is a still a correction in my opinion to them look for bearish evidence at around the 50 uh, percent retracement and this previously broken structure yeah so it's been tested many times as support and that's why this here gonna be pretty interesting area to watch if the bulls manage to push it all the way to see if uh, the bears will uh, show up here with some kind of a double top or a um, 
head and shoulder whatever you play uh, it is this area you're gonna watch for to see if um, you get your uh, selling signals at that level so um, yeah guys that was it for this week thanks a lot see you next sunday bye bye